Ladies and gentlemen, our guest, she's got a new song. Listen to that. You'd like right up when you hear that. The lyrics when they come in are so big. This is so big. So when your brother plays, I assume your brother wrote that the guitar uh, riff first. When he when he plays that, do you do you say, "Oh, I know what I want to do with it," or you got to marinate on that for a while? Mm. You know, it just comes if it comes. I mean, sometimes you do have to marinate on it. Sometimes it comes to you. For that one, we had that line with that melody, just try not to abuse your power, and that's it. And we had we just we would always sing that. And then there was just one day when Phineas and I were in the kitchen and he was just playing the guitar and just like <laughs> figuring out um, how to just, he was just like making up chords for this one line that we had. And we were just riffing, you know, in the kitchen as you do. And we literally wrote like the whole song, except I think the like ending, but it, it came to us, I think like, the fastest that that any song has really come it just kind of came out it was just natural and yeah and, yeah i don't know it was it was it, i think that was probably like one of the most satisfying times of writing for for me at least i think well so you must have been sitting on those thoughts and those emotions and those feelings for quite some time for them to fall out of you so easily yeah you know Fair? it fair absolutely fair you know it's 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 really an open letter um to anyone that is abu has abused their power in their life and it's 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 really and i mean this with my whole heart that it's it's not about one person at all it's really mm -hmm. not and and even you know i've seen a lot of theories of people think that it's about this person in my life and it's n it, none of them are right um I've had a lot of weird experiences <laughs> and, and, you know, the, the, the parts in this song that are true to my life and experiences are things that nobody knows about. And I'm not, you know, interested in talking about, but yeah, it's just a, it's a real subject that um, just needs to not be ignored. And mm -hmm. also, you know, I, instead of people trying to dive into who's this about and let's yeah. go find who it is. Like, first of all, you won't, you don't know, yeah. you don't understand, <laughs> you don't know my life. You just don't. And that's okay. But it's less about that and more about listen to it and just take it in and, you know, think about it in terms of just the world and this happening way too much. You know, it's something I've thought about so much. <laughs> And it's just yeah. way too common and way too relatable and, you know, whatever. I think it's great uh, that you that you move the conversation. And I think that's important. I think uh, I think that's your true superpower. You know, you're really using you have a superpower. That's what it is. It's smell. And it's uh, <laughs> I know that about you because I'm a fan. But you have this power of of really getting people to talk about things. And I think that's good. I think more young artists should do that. Um, do you think other artists should step up a little more at times when it comes to things like this? It's a it's a complicated thing, um, speaking yeah. up about things, because you know, it takes a lot of thought to say the right thing. And so I'm, you know, I don't put pressure on anyone to say something or not. I think that it's, you know, talk, say what you believe in and fight for your rights and people's right and other people's rights, absolutely. But I'm not gonna push. You know, I'm not going to say, oh, they're not doing enough. I think that the world isn't doing enough about young girls being taken go. advantage of. And I think that that's really more of what's important. Not like, oh, artists need to speak up. It's more like people need to be more conscious of it, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, well said. Um, there's this cute little lady. She's this cute yeah. little lady. <laughs> um, <laughs> This is precious. I, I'm sorry, I'm using the word precious, but this I is love it. it is so Billie Eilish by Billie Eilish. 
<laughs> it is so it is so personal because it is almost every moment from the beginning <laughs> till now. Why did you put this out? Why are you putting this out? I should say because it's not out yet. I just thought it's cute. I don't know. It's a cute idea. I feel like if I was a, I would, I just want it. Like if, like I want that book, but for my favorite artists, you know, I just, yeah. you know, I love pictures. I've, I've just loved pictures my whole life. I love pictures that I take. I love pictures of me. I love taking pictures of people. I love taking videos and pictures. And, you know, I'm, I'm really, there's like not one day that goes by where I don't take pictures um, of things. And I've always been like that. And I just, you know, I think that we should all remember our lives and look at pictures and remember back. And, you know, I think a, a great joy in life is memories. <laughs> I think that everybody feels that way. And I'm a very sentimental person. And I just, I love thinking back on things because I think that it's like, it makes me miss the old days but it also makes me happier about the current which is interesting like it yeah. makes me feel both it makes me go like oh I miss that but then at the same time I'm like I'm I really like my life right now you know it's weird so yeah I just thought it's a cute idea shit you know <laughs> can I open it and show anybody anything or do you want to keep it top secret it's cool I don't care I have one picture that I thought was sweet that I was going to share. But you, can totally you can show one picture for sure. One picture. Here we go. I chose this picture here. Can you see that? <laughs> you're on stage. I don't know where. It says you're singing happiness is a warm gun. Absolutely. Can you still sing happiness is a warm gun? Do you know the lyrics still? Yes. Yeah, do. I absolutely do. Okay. That that was the first that was the first um talent show I ever performed at. Mm -hmm. I sang happiness is a warm gun. Didn't know what any of the lyrics meant. You know, the lyrics are literally, she's not a girl who misses much. She, uh, there's like a line about eating soap. It's, it's a weird song. It's fucking weird. Happiness is a warm gun, dude. That was, that was, that was my, that was my, uh, my gateway into uh, music, I guess. Can you remember back to that time? Do you, I mean, do you remember being there? I, I can't remember that. Oh, age. Yeah. oh you can't. Oh yeah, no, I, I vividly remember my childhood. Um, yeah, of course I remember it. I remember looking out at the fucking 20 people and their parents that were watching. It was like a bunch of kids I used to know. And they That's were all the like- last time you've looked out at 20 people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Ah, <laughs> uh, the good old days. Um, mm -hmm. You got this little album thing coming out that I think a lot of people seem to be pretty excited about. Um, I've talked, I always feel guilty because, uh, I feel guilty because I get to interview you so often and you have such crazy fans and I try to find them. There's this Kira girl that's nuts for you. There's all of these people that have all of these amazing questions. And if you don't mind, I'll just share a few of the questions. And of course. If you will, and we'll go from there. Um, describe the album in three words. God, that's always a stumper for me. I've never been able to answer that question well. Three words. Um, God damn. Um, ooh, this is so annoying. All right. Listen, wasn't my question. I didn't think this one was going to be so tough. I thought I'd throw you a softball to begin with. Um, I'm gonna just say happier than ever because that's easiest. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Um, fans have been saying, and I see this online a lot, that um, if you string together, um, if you, my future is everything I wanted, therefore I am. It's a sentence. Is that on purpose, or is that just the best coincidence of all time? Listen, I, I. I... I want the world to take away what it takes away. And I want people to see hidden messages that aren't actually there. So <laughs> I love okay. it. I didn't, it's not a sentence, but it is, if you want it to be, it, it's great. It's a coincidence that it's, it happens to make a sentence. I've seen them also say, therefore I am happier than ever, which is funny. Um, not on purpose. Also, therefore I am is a, is a phrase. Like it's, 
Yeah. I think, therefore I am. Therefore I exist. You think, therefore you exist. So it's not, therefore I am blank, blank, blank. It's literally <laughs> there for anyway. <laughs> but if it pleases you, you, and if it pleases people's aesthetic of, you know, a sentence, then great. That, that makes me happy. So. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, you posted this, the vanity fair photos and and I, I hate the term break the internet because it seems kind of silly to me but you did break some internet rules on or <laughs> rules you broke some internet uh tallies on instagram with oh the vogue know, cover the vogue yes cover. yeah yeah well, well, let's start just with the shoot when you walked into that are you at the point where a photo shoot's just a photo shoot or does it mean anything different at this point i i, I don't know well that one sure was different okay um, uh, <laughs> that, that was nothing I've ever experienced in my life. I, um, why? Because I've never, um, it was clothes that I've never even thought about wearing that if you told me I was wearing them, you know, three years ago, I'd be like, why? <laughs> but, um, it was my idea, you know, and I, I just kind of have this thing about myself where I, just want to be changing all the time and I never ever want to be sinking into the same thing all the time um and I just want to I just love reactions I love people's faces when they're shocked and um I knew that that would do it and I also wanted to do it I felt you know I just I'm growing and I'm changing and my taste is changing and that doesn't mean that it's not the same I'm not the same person and I'm not gonna also keep just looking the way that I've always looked, but it's, it's good to just be open and like, sure, I can do this whenever I want. And also that doesn't mean I'm always going to do this. It means I'm going to do it right now. And if I want to do it again, I'm going to do it again. You know, it's not like, okay, I was this and now I'm always going to be this from now on. It's just about change and constant change. And I love constant change. And if things don't change, I get flipped out. Yeah, man. When you post something, I, look, I think any person says, like for me, you know, I have like a couple thousand followers or something. And if I get like a hundred likes, I'm like, whoo, I'm on fire over yeah. here. Um, yeah. When you see the number of likes, does it make you almost say, ah, now I don't want to post as much because you know so much scrutiny is going to be made over it. Is it mm -hmm. daunting to post anymore? Yeah. Uh, yes. I absolutely don't want to post anymore. Um, because of that. And it sounds stupid. It sounds like, oh, it poor you, you get so many it likes. It doesn't sound dumb at all. <laughs> it's like, I, it flips me out. I don't, you know, you know, I, I remember when I hit 45 likes, 45 when I was, I think 12. And I was like, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. I was like 45 people. Dude, if there were 45 people in this room right now, it'd be so many people. So yeah that's just the way I've always thought about it. And absolutely the more the likes get bigger, I'm like, eh, don't want to post anymore. Scary. So <laughs> daunting. Absolutely daunting. Um, if, if you were to put, let's, I just want to shift back to the album for one second. If you were to say, you know, like on a one to 10, one being energetic, uh, I'm sorry, 10 being energetic, one being, you know, ballads, uh, is the album a good mix? Is it, uh, are there some up-tempo songs? Are there, is it more of, uh, is it more closer to three than it is a seven as a whole? It's very, it really ranges. It's a ton of different stuff. It's, you know, there's slow, there's big, there's bigger, there's mid medium ground, there's uh, a beat, there's like, it's really, there's so many. I mean, I feel like every single song is, is, different than every other song. I, I feel very happy and satisfied about the range of genre, I guess. Not really genre, but just feel. And I feel like listening to it, for me, I, I don't get bored listening to it. So hopefully that translates for other people too. Do you know the record already? Could you sing it? Could you perform it? Do you remember things? Oh yeah, oh do? yeah. Okay. I don't know how oh, artists yeah. do that. I could barely remember my phone number. I um, wrote them, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you're good at it. Well, listen, we love this kid. Um, <laughs> look at look at those eyes. Unbelievable. Um, thank you for the time again. This is uh, this is what we're really supposed to be talking about, I think. But I can't. I help. know so many exciting things though. But no, this book this book means a lot to me, and it was a a, a 
um, very long process of making it and really hard work putting put into that book and very satisfying outcome. I couldn't be happy, happier with it. I think it looks so cute and looking through it makes me cry. And I am just very grateful for my life and the people around me. And I hope that people enjoy reading it and don't take it too seriously. It's just a cute little book. Uh, I don't think you could stop that train. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> good luck with that, Billy. <laughs> really good luck with that. Uh, they'll be looking into everything. There's, there's, there's secrets, and I'm sure they'll come up with all kinds of fun theories. Um, yeah. Thank you for your time. Um, thanks for continuously doing this. I don't think you really need to do press, so you could probably just <laughs> run on your Instagram and said, "Hey, everybody, I have a book," and you know, but. I don't know. I like that you get your word out there and you talk to people about things that matter and it's cool. Uh, I think you're awesome and thanks for the time. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you so much. That's that's very sweet of you. Thank you for having me. It's been sweet. a blast. You could come up anytime. Uh, <laughs> Billy Eilish, everybody. All right. Love you. Talk to you soon. I'm Love sure. you too. I'll see, see you, you soon. Have a good one.